The next question in the C++ series is exceptional server. Here in this question they have introduced us to exceptional handling. We'll take a look at sample input format. Here as you can see the first line contains an integer t that is the number of test cases. Here the number of test cases that is t is 2. So there are two number of test cases which is this is first and this is second one. Each t subsequent line describes a test cases as two space separated integers this the first one is a which is separated by space and the second one is b so what we have to do here is that they have given us explanation down below over here if that is minus 8 is negative hence the exception a is negative is thrown okay so here the minus 8 is negative so exception a is negative is been thrown after that since the second input is too large not enough memory is displayed second input is this it is very large so not enough memory is been displayed and 2 is a server load which is been printed over here so let's move to the code so here we have to write our code what they have done here is that there is a class server and inside that they have a function compute and inside that function they have passed a and b and also inside that they have checked whether the a is smaller than 0 or not and that time they have thrown exception which is of invalid argument and this is a statement which is a is negative so for that first thing which we have to do is we have to create a object of a class server server dot obj as we have created now the object of server we can access this compute function through this object so first we have to write a try block and inside that we'll write c out obj dot compute and we'll pass a and b as a parameter so this try block will execute this code if there will be any exceptions in this code we will catch those exceptions with the help of a catch block here at starting the expected behavior is defined as follows uh, if we can if we start from the second step it fails to allocate the memory that it needs print not enough memory so if it fails to allocate then we have to print not enough memory so for that the exception which is considered is of bad allocation so we'll write here catch block first and inside that the exception which we are going to catch here in this block is bad allocation so we'll write bad allocation and ampersand will declare one reference variable over here which is error and inside this uh, as they have told over here is that we have to print not enough memory so I'll just copy it and we'll paste down inside this block over here okay so now we'll move to second catch block so here they have told if any other standard C++ exception occurs print exception and then we have to give error message as they have shown it over here they have printed exception and then they have given a error message so here in this code they have uh, thrown invalid argument once and again down here they have thrown zero so we have to catch both of these so for that we have to write a catch block for both of them we don't have to write only for invalid arguments we have to write for both of them so here in this case we are going to write catch c a t c catch and inside that we are not gonna to specify any error type we are going to just write exception okay 
so as you can see it over here uh, I'll just declare one variable reference variable which is error and as you can as you can see they have mentioned its information over here this is a base class for all exception thrown by standard library yes for all exceptions okay so this class or this catch block I have written at second position if I would have written it here down this try block then this error will also be catched by this catch block but I don't want so because I want to print not enough memory so I wrote this catch block first and then after that I have written this catch block I hope so if I hope so uh, you have understood this if you have any query let me know in comment section given below and clear it out there this is for all the exceptions which are been thrown by library it is not a specified it is in general so inside this we are going to write C out and as they have shown it over here uh, first we have to write exception and then we have to print error message okay so we'll write here first exception and uh, outside this we have to print error message so for that we will be using this reference variable and there is one method called what so here as you can see so we are going to call this method over here and after that we will write endl and down over here uh, we have to write another catch block so this catch block will be for any non-standard expression occurs print other exception on any non-standard expression and here in this case it was if any other standard expression this is non-standard there is difference between standard and non-standard now in case of any non-standard exception you have to write so I'll just write and L over here so for that we have to write catch and inside that we have to write three dot and below that uh, we have to write other exceptions so I'll just copy it and we'll paste it over there see out there is no need of <sighs> uh, we'll run the code and we'll check the output yes it is working and now we'll check it for rest of the test cases uh, it is showing some errors so here I forgot to write and L so we'll write now and L and we'll submit the code yes now it is working for all the test cases the solution for all our other questions including the C++ series are available on my channel and if you have any query let me know it in comment section given below and also thank you guys for watching this video.